This is Lauren Fogelman of Expert Sports Performance, working with highly driven, motivated athletes on having more focus, confidence, the ability to effectively deal with distractions when competing for consistent high performance. Today's topic is Wade and James relishing the challenge of the NBA playoffs. Now, as the playoffs have been going on, the Miami be, the Miami Heat have been up and down, kind of like a roller coaster, and right now they're on the way up. Uh, the Miami Heat are hot. However, it started out with the trio of Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, and Chris Bosh, and then all of a sudden things started to unravel. Chris Bosh is now out with an abdominal injury for um, who knows when, and then Wade and James both had some minor injuries and occurrences happen as well that really just put them a little bit off their A game. Then again, then we saw in game number three where they were just tanking it. They just couldn't pull it together no matter what. As a result, they lost that game. However, what I've seen is that we've gone from the trio to this dynamic duo. All of a sudden, they turned it around after game three and really are being, been playing tightly. In fact, Wade and James are playing tighter than they have in a long time before, and they are really lighting up the scoreboard. So I want to let you know what came together to really have them pull it together, turn things around, and now be back into the conversation about the playoffs. So the first thing is, it came to a decision. Basically, Wade and James had to make a decision that they weren't going to let circumstances beyond their control affect the outcome for the Miami Heat. They have been working towards the playoffs since 2010, and this is really their opportunity to show up and do it differently, having a final winning season and getting the ring. After that, adversity. Let's face it, we can all play well under the best of circumstances. However, it's when things happen outside of our control that really challenge us, and that's when not only the physical part has to be strong, but you want to also be productive, so you want to be scoring points, and it has to do with psychology. So it's just three pieces of the physiology, productivity, and psychology coming together that really set you up to go the long run when you're hit with adversity and the unexpected happen. Afterwards, there's resilience. Resilience is really about how you pull through and you're really able to hold it together during crunch time. Now, we've seen instances where LeBron, LeBron James really couldn't keep it together under crunch time. Under crunch time, He just wasn't able to hold his own and he wasn't helping the team score points. However, with the way that things have been going during games four, five, and six of the playoffs, Wade and James have really pulled it together. They are resilient. They're really taking everything that they've done before, their plays, what they've studied, how they've worked together as a team, their experiences, and they are coming out no holds barred. They're playing full out and they're showing up and they're really scoring points and they're pulling through. And finally, it's the challenge. This is the challenge of their life to really be able to pull together tightly as a team, having a having a win in the playoffs, finally getting the ring. Therefore, it's about being under the toughest circumstances, being able to dig down deep, know your deep why. What is it that's driving you to continue to play your best high performance under the best of circumstances and then under the most challenging circumstances at all. And that's what's going on with the Miami Heat right now with Wade and James is they are rising up to the challenge, they're giving everybody a run for their money, and they are working the court. If you were un in a similar situation, what would you do? Would you be able to make that decision to win? Would you be able to really be resilient and be able to be strong in the f when things aren't going well? Do you have the... Um, skill set within you to be able to deal with adversity, not just the physical skills, but the mindset and the mental skills as well. And if you were put to the challenge, would your competitive side come out strong and rise up to it? If you don't feel that that would happen, then you might go to fear, doubt, worry, 
or become distracted, then I want you to really find where is your skill set? What are the strengths that you bring to the competition? And really figure out how can you tap into those strengths and be able to have them really pull you through, coming out looking sweet on the other side. I'd love to hear your responses as to what your skill sets are, how you deal with adversity, where you're resilient. Share it with the community. Go ahead and post a comment. Let me know what two things you took away from this training video. If you're interested in my special report, the top seven mistakes even the best athletes make, go to expertsportsperformance.com. Put your name, your email address in the upper right hand side. You'll immediately get that free special report so you can get on your A game as well. I look forward to hearing from you. Go ahead and post a comment. Lauren Fogelman, expertsportsperformance.com. More focus, more wins.